Hi everybody. It's uh, been a little while since I was able to do a devotion and I've been thinking a lot about my life uh, this Lent. As many of you know, um, uh, my uh, wife and I, we almost uh, lost our second son. He was only a couple days old when he was stricken with meningitis. Uh, we're still not even sure how he contracted it, um, but within hours uh, he didn't look well and then by his second day of life, uh, we were at an emergency room and by later that night, uh, he was uh, intubated and on life support. It's been a long month uh, living in uh, the neonatal intensive care unit at Children's Hospital and they did an amazing job and um, very few babies survive, uh, but he did. Uh, and um, I was angry, um, I've dedicated the better part of my life to being a priest. And um, I was angry. And I did a lot of praying, some of it in anger. Then I looked around the world during the midst of our crisis, and there was so much more. Uh, politics and sadness and death and terrible traffic accidents taking the lives of university students this war in the Ukraine and the irony that as children and mothers and pregnant mothers were being literally killed by a bombing at a children's hospital, my wife and I, we were at a children's hospital safe. And a friend of mine that I reached out to in the midst of my crisis said, why don't you pray more? And to be honest with you, it, it pissed me off. <laughs> I don't need you to tell me to pray more. I needed something to point me forward somewhere else. I needed someone to show me the way that I could make it through this crisis. And I wasn't able to do that by simply praying more. And so by that bit of advice, it actually deepened my anger. And then I made my way over to the church one day as often as I could, I would pop in, especially as Caleb began to find stability in his health. And in one day, it was a Thursday, and we have this uh, adoration of the Blessed Sacrament in the sanctuary every Thursday from 4 to 6 p.m., and followed by some time with uh, St. Francis Relic. And I came and sat as I try to do so often, but this time I came and sat in my anger. And it was different this time because I allowed myself to be human and imperfect and angry. And I sat and recognized in that instant that Jesus wasn't just someone or something that I prayed to that was far away. Jesus was right there. He was literally a few feet away from me. It wasn't just a symbol that pointed to something, as often we find in Catholicism. It wasn't something that pointed anymore. It was the thing itself. And in my acknowledgement that he was there, here, I heard those questions that I've been asking myself. Why are you so angry, James? James, why don't you have any faith in me? I realized in that moment that everything that I thought was important wasn't. And I also simultaneously recognized it was okay to be angry and to not believe and to be scared. 
because Jesus had me. And he had Caleb. And everything was okay. Even though at that point in our journey, Caleb wasn't stable enough to be deemed on his way to health, in that moment I knew that he would be. Because Jesus allowed me to be human, fully human, fully angry, fully filled with fear. And he saved me. And now, a little over a month later, he saved Caleb. So my recognition and adoration was that sitting with Jesus, there was no one else in the world. There was nothing else in this universe that I could have felt such care and solace and support and direction other than being with Jesus. I hope that one day you will come virtually through the marvels of technology, but more so in person. And just like me said, let him have it. He can take it. And let him help you to get through your worst days. Because I have learned that he really does care about us, his created. I pray you the remainder of this journey of Lent to find peace. To those of you who prayed for us, I'm grateful. When I wasn't able to pray anymore, because of my anger, you prayed me to get to adoration without even knowing it. And it was there that I found Jesus. Sitting there waiting all along for someone as broken as James to recognize that he was right there all along. I'll pray for you. And when you have a moment, please pray for me. God bless you.